Hello everybody, it's the 8th of March today and uh, I really should be getting on with some repotting but we've got some cold weather forecast well it's not so cold today as it keeps you can come outside without your coat on hey, yeah good boy but uh, yeah, as I'm saying we've uh, got some real cold weather forecast tonight and tomorrow um, with the possibility of snow etc so now I'm going to put off a little bit longer um, then I'll have to do a load in a rush no doubt but uh, sometimes that's just the way it is hello everybody it's the uh, 27th of March today and uh, most of my Japanese maples are at this stage of development um, but just beginning to emerge or even buds only just swelling um, but I have some orange dream Japanese maples which are grown from um, cheap supermarket plants I think they both cost me three pounds 99 um, back in 2019 maybe 2020 before um, before the pandemic I say so it was a very early part of 2020 or late 2019 and as you can see they are much further ahead um, just grab the other one now these were a part of a playlist of small Japanese maples and I'm going to branch these two out into a new playlist of their own which for reasons which I'm sure are perfectly obvious I'm going to call Orange Dream um, and uh, going to make this a timey-wimey video um, I was going to repot both of these trees because they were um, it was 2020 when they went into these pots um, but as you can see really they're too far advanced for that this one I've already cleaned up the surface of the pot um, I don't know how well you can see that um, I've had a lot of dieback last year on this tree but it has healed over um, and it didn't bark that didn't ring the whole tree so the tree has survived um, and it is callousing over so I'm hoping that given time um, it will survive the other one had a similar problem but that's almost completely healed and I'll show you that in a minute this one had a trim back at the end of um, last summer and I'm just going to let this one elongate a little bit I'm, my plan is to have this one being fairly tall um, and slender uh, whereas the other one is squatter and wider and they've, they've sort of done that naturally um, I am going to pinch out some of the growing tips uh, thusly um, just because I don't want it to get too wide but I might let it get a bit taller so that's just a question of I'm just going to go around and pinch out the growing tips till I'm back to a pair of leaves before the shoots get a chance to really elongate and I'll do most of that off camera so as not to bore you but as I said this one's um, wider and uh, squatter and uh, again the shoots are starting to elongate so I want to pinch out these growing tips just to keep it because I'm actually quite pleased with the sort of current size and shape um, I've got a couple of dead pieces at the top here which I will need to deal with but let me show you that the base of this one's trunk so this one developed a similar issue here um, but it has almost completely healed um, and I'm hoping that the other one will do the same uh, what I want to do as I say um, although I want to pinch out these shoots I 
I want to clean up the um, base of the trunk uh, and the top of the pot uh, and get some fresh soil and some feed down. Okay, potting tray in um, using two of my favourite tools, which are actually um, snap brushes, but they work really well at getting rid of the moss, weeds, etc. Off the soil, this nylon one's nice and soft, doesn't do much damage to the roots, um, but as I say, it gets rid of all the moss and the weeds. Um, for really stubborn ones, this is a kind of um, soft uh, metal brass, I think. Is it brass? I don't know. Might be. But anyway, so. Well, that's quite useful for getting rid of more stubborn bits um, that might cling on. So, having cleaned up the surface somewhat, as I say, I had wanted to repot, but these trees had other ideas scooting ahead. So, pop in some controlled release fertilizer. A little bit more in this corner, fairly generous. And then I'm going to top dress it, excuse my arm, with some compost. Both look nice, um, or nicer, to my eyes at least. Some people like to see the moss, I guess. Um, but it also means that the controlled release pellets will stay down, um, which they need to be wet in order to leach the, um, the feed. Okay, so yeah, this tree's racing ahead and starting to really quite elongate. So I'm going to be nipping out to that first pair of leaves all this new growth well not all the new growth but all these first shoots um, and uh, there we have it that's what i'm going to be doing i'm not going to bore you watching the whole thing um, put this tree back on the bench once i'm done but for now I'm going to turn the camera off, finish this job um, and then we'll come back and see how it's responded later in the year. Even though it's a, a dull and dreary day you can kind of see where it gets the name Orange Dream. So the orange dreams are growing out nicely now. I keep pinching them. Um, there's a couple of bad branches here that haven't actually opened yet, but um, I'm sure they'll catch up. And there's one that's only just opening, so I will continue pinching those as the shoots emerge. It's the uh, 3rd of April today. Similarly, this one is also emerging now, but a slightly slower rate, I think. But uh, again, I shall continue pinching and will hopefully continue to build this rather nice canopy. So it's the 18th of April now, and uh, the trees have, well, they've lost some of their orangeness. Um, not quite sure what that's all about but uh, they still have an orange tinge to the leaves and uh, I'm still pinching out odd shoots as they sort of poke their head up above the parapet um, I will just give them a little nip uh, and this tree seems to have developed a little bulb patch just here although I can see buds popping so 
hopefully that will fill in similarly this one um, it's pushing up shoots uh, I'm continuing to pinch but uh, all in all they're looking quite well but I think this video is going to get a bit boring and save me if I just um, keep going so I'm going to end the video here before it does um, get boring that is and uh, we'll come back and look at these perhaps later in the summer or in the autumn I should just say thank you so much for watching do all the usual YouTube things the liking, the subscribing, the commenting below but most of all please 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 stay safe everybody